Good evening, everyone. Hi. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi, welcome, Jorge, Sandra, Mayra, Jancy, Asalia, and Brian. How are you all? Como están? How is everything? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. How is everything, people? Good, bad, more or less. Tell me. Everything is cold for me. Everything is cool for you. All right. A normal, a normal Wednesday, right? A normal Wednesday, yes. Yes. All right. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah, like me, I had a very normal Wednesday. Nothing unusual. The same usual things. <laughs> Not even. All right. Uh, <laughs> let me begin. And uh, well, I was expecting to see more people. Uh, early, but I uh, only see six six people. Guys, let me tell you that there is a lot to do. We have uh, some activities to work on. Yes. And uh, we're going to work on those activities throughout the class. Oops, let me charge this. Go with it. Show you what's gonna happen today. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are here. This is class number 17. Yes, this is class number 17. Uh yesterday we were talking about accounting. Do you remember what accounting is? What do you remember about accounting? They store reports uh, like cash flows, statements, and and others that is related with accounting. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. What else can you say? What else can you say? ¿Qué más pueden decir? What else can you say? Nothing else? Okay, that's that's fine, that's fine, no problem. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, yesterday we're working on some vocabulary about accounting. We are going to review that vocabulary later on or in a few minutes, yes, because it's it's quite important to know about it too. Okay, now that more people are already here, thank you everyone. Thank you for joining today's session. Yes, yes. Uh, well, now that I see more people, I'm going to take attendance. Let me stop sharing and uh, we'll quickly take attendance now that I see more people. Ana Victoria Galán Ganton. No. Asalia Melanie Portillo de Espinosa. Present. Share. Thank you, thank you. Brian David Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Carlos Alberto Orrego Monge. Carlos Eliezer Dimas Soriano.
Denise Alejandra Zuniga Aldana. Present. Thank you, Denise. Diana Yamilet Navas, Maravilla Navas. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Present. Thank you, Edith. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solis. No. Jorge Ernesto Hernandez Durán. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Raquel. Sandra Yves Mendoza. Present teacher. Sara Rachel Salazar de Cosme. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jancy Andrea Solortano Castro. Present teacher. Yes, thank you very much, everyone. Yes. We're just missing Ismael, we're missing Carlos and Carlos and Anna. Yes, hopefully these people will join. Are you here? Oh, she's here, wow. <laughs> okay, so we're missing three people, which is uh, fine. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is this, this. All right. Uh, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go to the vocabulary part. Review the vocabulary that we have here. Wait, how do I do? Uh, okay. Yesterday we we're talking about cash flow, income statements, equity statement, and balance sheet, right? And we also uh, provided a definition and uh, what it is in Spanish. Okay, uh, we got some vocabulary here. Reports on the changes in retained. Do you remember what retained is? Retained. Earnings, ganancias, retenidas. That's retained, all right? Reports a company's assets. Do you remember what assets is? Assets. You know what? Let me go to the presentation. Okay, here, here. Let's go one, one by one. The first one that we have here is liabilities. Do you remember what liabilities is? People, liabilities. Hello, liabilities. <clears throat> okay, we mentioned or we said that liabilities are those services that we have to pay or those services that a company has to pay. For example, when they acquire new material or new optics or new products or uh, equipment, let's say, new equipment, that's liability, okay? They have to pay for that, yes. So in, uh, in Spanish, it's pasivos, liabilities, all right? Things that the company has to pay, yes. Uh, let's continue, loans. What's loans, people? Que es loans? Contexto literal, creo que son préstamos. Exactly, exactly, yes, yes. Okay, loans, préstamos. If you remove the S, loan, préstamo, only one. It can be a verb as well, prestar. It can be a, a verb, okay? También puede ser un verbo. Let's continue. Assets. What is assets, guys? Assets. Activos. Yes, it's the opposite of liabilities. Okay, in this case, assets is, pass is activos, sorry, activos, yes. Okay, very good. Uh, the, uh, the assets, the assets are those, those components or those elements a company has, okay, has, or what the company owns, okay, what the company owns, those are the assets, can be recursos, ventajas, uh, activos, right, etc. 
accounting people accounting is the area or the field do you remember what accounting is if you do can you tell me yes exactly exactly yes we were talking about this one yesterday and also this is unit number four about unit number four is about accounting yes balance sheet do you remember what balance sheet is Balance Pretty much, yes, what it is. Yes, pretty much. Remember, balance sheet is about money. It's about money, all right? Yes, yes. All right. Do you remember what revenues? I think we not we did not see this one. We did not see this one, revenues. But it is here. Do you know what it is, people? No revenues. Ingresos. I'm sorry. Ingresos. It's it's pretty pretty much similar to uh, this word. Well, it is here. Look, no, no, not that big. It's not a página. Income, income. Yes, income. But uh, this revenues revenues is not like uh, income. Uh, it's more like taxes. You know what taxes are? Taxes. Impuestos. Exactly, taxes. Impuestos. Yes. It's it's money. It's money that you receive, but on taxes. Okay, that's the revenues. Money you receive, money you get, or income, but that income is not from, from what you're selling or offering. That income is from taxes. Okay. Excellent. Let's continue. Or in Spanish, revenues, ingresos, ingresos, <clears throat> excuse me, públicos, ingresos públicos, all right, yes, or ingresos presupuestados. Let's continue with the other one, loss. What is loss? Perdidas. Yes, exactly, exactly, yes, okay. It's, it's like the verb lose, the verb lose is perder, okay. Loss, perdida, all right? Yes. Excellent. Profit. Profit is a verb and it also can be a noun. What is profit, people? Ganancia. Yeah. Yes, the money you make, right? Cash flow? What about cash? <clears throat> Excuse me. Cash flow. No. <clears throat> flujo de caja, okay? That's what it is. Cash flow. Flujo de efectivo, flujo de caja. Yes. It's 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 uh the way the yes. company uses the money, where where they invest, uh where they operate, okay? That's uh that's what it is. Cash flow. Payroll. Payroll. What is payroll? Nomina. Yes, yes. That's what it is, payroll. All right. There are three or four more words. Income, outcome, earning, capital, transfer, income statement, and equity statement. Income, you know what this is, okay? It's the money you receive, the money you receive. Outcome. Outcome is the money that goes away or that goes out. Guys, income in Spanish? Income? You don't know? I'm sorry? Como ingreso? Yes. An outcome? Entrada o ingreso. Yes. What about outcome? Ingresos. Okay. Oh, Out salidas. Salidas. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Thank you. Outcome is the opposite of income. Yes. Earnings. 
is the final or or yeah the final money you get okay like the actual earnings ganancias okay excellent capital you know what capital is it's a passive transfer also is transferring income statements what's the income statement guys income statements what is it Yes, yes. Okay, and the last the last one, equity statements. That one is declaración de patrimonio. Yes. Declaración de patrimonio. All right. Somehow people that have caught this allergy, it's como que agarra una, una, una alergia en este momento. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna continue, we're gonna continue and the next thing or the first activity that we have is this one. Look, how, how many adjectives come to your mind when you see this picture? How many adjectives? Look at the picture, There's a, there are two, two ladies, a girl and a woman. And I need you guys to give me a list of adjectives, descriptions. Let's begin. Tell me. Hello. Hello, people. Do you know what an adjective is? Para que sea adjetivo? Hello, everyone. Um, loving, no sé si aplica. Loving. Okay, loving, yes, it applies. What else? What else? You can mention, you can mention anything, anything that comes to your mind when you see the picture. But adjectives. I love, I am loving my mom. Mm, no, no. I no. quiero adjetivos, adjetivos. Ah. Yes. Eh, friendly. I'm sorry? Friend, friendly. Okay, friendly. Friendly, yes, friendly. What else? Car, yes, Car, no sé, car is caring i'm sorry caring. For, or, or oscar i don't know i mean brian i don't know who said happiness it. happy okay happy happy happiness is an is a noun happy okay happy what else hugging i'm sorry hugging mm. hugging 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 it's hugging hugging but i'm i'm, I'm like it's not i have people What else? What else? ¿Qué más? Hello. Expression. Special. What about this one? Oh. Young, joven. What else? ¿Qué más? What else, people? What else? What else? Eh, 
Tenderness. Tenderness. Tenderness, no, no es un adjetivo. No. Okay. It's not, es un, es un, es un a, a, sustantivo. Yes. Okay. okay. Sentimiento. Beautiful. The color white is also an adjective, red. Yes. Awesome. Sorry? Awesome. Okay, awesome. Yes. Okay. We got, we Happiness. got. Which one? Happiness. Ha happy, happy. It's here. Happy. Happiness, Happiness no. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Look, uh, we got we got a bunch of adjectives about one picture. Excellent, excellent people. You're gonna see why I'm 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 giving you this. Let's continue. There's one more picture. Look at this one. What? Uh, how many? How many adjectives come to your mind when you see this one? This picture. How many words? How many descriptions can you mention about this picture? Friday, Friday, Friday. Yes, it's a birthday, but I need adjectives. Requiero adjetivos, adjetivos. Party. Hello? Party. No, party no es adjetivo. Okay. Remember, un adjetivo Cute. es una Cute. descripción. Cute. Cute, okay. Cute, yes. What else? What else? Cake else? big. Possible? Cake big. Happiness. Mm, grande. <laughs> happy. Happiness. Mm, happy, yeah. happy. Es una descripción. Descripción. Feliz es la descripción. Felicidad no es descripción. Yes. What else? What else? Fun. Okay. Maybe funny. Funny. Fun, no. What else? Excited. Yes, what else? Playful. What else, people? Get us. Colorful. Okay, colorful. Yes, colorful. What else? Joyful. Party. Party. No, party is is loud. Loud. Okay, loud. What else? Paradise. I'm sorry. Paradise. Uh, which one? Paradise. Hardy. Oh, paradise. Mm, no, paradise, no. no. <laughs> Holidays. Which one, Jorge? Holidays. Holidays. Oh, holidays. No, holidays, no. Smiling. Smiling? Probably so. No. Maybe smiley. Sonriente. Celebration. Celebration, no. No. Okay. But it's okay, people. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Thank you for your participation. Now, let's see. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. We got six six questions about a listening a listening audio that we're gonna uh, play later later on. It, it says there, listen to an audio and answer the following questions. Let me read the questions to you and clear any any questions or any doubts. How does Mauricio feel about the product? Mention three times in which so was used. Was the product delivered? What does Mauricio say about the pictures on the website? 
what can you say about the delivery person and what happens with the product? You are going to answer those six questions. Let me see if I can share them with you. Ya están ahí, las pueden ver. Una imagen, una imagen parece que mandó. What? I don't understand. Wait. Tengo un problema de salto un solo. Okay, I just share the, the, the questions with you through the chat. Apologies. It's making our lives easier. All right. Do you see the picture? I mean, do you see the questions in the chat? Yes, I see. Yes. Okay, very good. The audio is ready. Okay, remember, this is me. This is me speaking, all right? So it might sound uh, a little different, low quality, you know, sometimes I stutter. So don't worry, stutter. Stutter, I don't know. Te lo voy a buscar. Significa tartamudear. Me, vamos a decir. Ok, yes. Let me wait. Let me play the audio. If you guys want me to listen to, to, to play it more than one time, I will do so. Are you ready? Yes. Ok, let's see. Hi, this is Jack. How can I help you? Hi, this is Mauricio. I am calling to let you know that I am so disappointed with the product I bought from you last week. I see. Could you be so kind and tell me why you feel disappointed? I will be so happy to help you. First, the product was delivered so late, which is weird because this, this is a company with such great reputation and punctuality. Second, the product I received was so different from the pictures you have on your website. On your website, you have such awesome pictures. Third, the person who delivered the product was so rude. I cannot believe that you have such an angry person working with you. I'm so surprised to hear about that, and I truly apologize for the bad experience. This is such a good company, but this time you have disappointed me a lot. I completely understand, sir. I'm so glad to tell you that you can bring back the item you received in order to have a full refund for you or a product change. Thank you. That's such great news. I'm sorry for the low quality <laughs> and the echo and everything. Yes. I tried uh, to, to make it as, as good as possible, but I couldn't. Now, how many questions did you answer? Did you answer them all? Did you answer all the questions? Hello, people. Did you, did you answer the questions? Yes, teachers. What about the rest? I don't know. You're not talking to me today. So I don't know. Guys, do you want me to play the audio again? Hello. Should I play the audio again? Yes, teacher. 
Okay. Let me do it again. Hi, this is Jack. How can I help you? Hi, this is Mauricio. I am calling to let you know that I am so disappointed with the product I bought from you last week. I see. Could you be so kind and tell me why you feel disappointed? I will be so happy to help you. First, the product was delivered so late, which is weird because this, this is a company with such great reputation and punctuality. Second, the product I received was so different from the pictures you have on your website. On your website, you have such awesome pictures. Third, the person who delivered the product was so rude. I cannot believe that you have such an angry person working with you. I'm so surprised to hear about that, and I truly apologize for the bad experience. This is such a good company, but this time you have disappointed me a lot. I completely understand, sir. I'm so glad to tell you that you can bring back the item you received in order to have a full refund for you or a product change. Thank you. That's such great news. There you go. Okay. Are you done now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Let me close that right now. Okay. We got the question. The first one, make sure the presentation again. There you go. Okay, the first question is, uh, how does Mauricio feel about the products? How does Mauricio uh, feel? Yes. Uh, yeah, teacher, the answer for the first question, it is satisfied with the products. He is? Uh, he, he is satisfied with the products. You mean for three you reasons. Satisfied, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I think it's be so disappointing, right? Yes. Do you have a different answer, people, about the first one? About, about the first question? For the first question? A different answer. Mauricio was disappointed. Okay, Mauricio was so disappointed, yes. Okay, yes. For, for three reasons mentioned, Brian, and it's true. Three, number three, number two, sorry. Mention three three times in which so was used, or give me three examples with the so from the audio. Uh, the first mention, I remember that uh, the product is delivery too late. So late. Okay. Can you mention the other two? The customer is so disappointed. Okay, the customer is so disappointed. Yes, me. <laughs> okay, what else? You. <laughs> you. <laughs> yes. All right. And the last one? I remember that uh, the, uh, the product is, is the difference uh, see so different um uh, what about the website mm -hmm. yes okay yes all right was the product delivered that's question number three was the product delivered was delivered so late okay so it was late. delivered it was delivered so late. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. What does Mauricio say about the pictures on the website? What does Mauricio say about the pictures on the website? I think he said that the pictures were were great, but different. 
Okay. All right, all right. Uh, yes, you mentioned the pictures are, were so different. So different if you compare them with the website and the original big object. Question number five. What can you say about the delivery person? What can you say about the delivery person? Guys? The person was hungry? Mm, maybe. No, but according to the audio, Guys, what can you say about the delivery person? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Here, the, the delivery person was so rude. Exactly. The delivery person was so rude. Exactly. And the last one, what happens with the product? What happens with the product? Um, they are going to give him a refund. Okay, they are going to give him a refund or a product change. Okay, thank you everyone for your participation. Now, we're going to continue. This is the second part of so and such. Yes, all right. Let me explain again a little bit about so and a little bit about such, how we use them. But to start, I would like to tell you that we use, we use so and such in pretty, pretty much the same way, in the same way. Uh, look, how to use so and such. We use so to express a stronger feeling. We use so to express stronger, stronger feeling, okay? Or to level up, to level up that feeling, yes. We use subject, verb, so, and adjective. Yes, for example, we got a bunch of adjectives right there. Yes. The first thing that we use is the subject. The subject can be any person. I, you, she, he, we, they, etc. Now, the verb, the verb can be, well, the verb is the verb be. The verb be, am, um, is, are, was, and were. Yes. All of them, all of them, all of them, yes. I am, for example, I am. And after I am, we use so. Look, I am so, and then the adjective, right? The, 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 like, we have the structure right there. The structure is right there. Look, subject, verb, the verb be, so, and the list of adjectives, okay? Let's take a look at the list of adjectives. If there are words that you don't understand, let me know. We got angry, grumpy, excited, interested, confused, messy, noisy, hyper, worry, busy, dirty, tired, sleepy, and that one is a smart, fast, hilarious, incredible, entertaining, cautious, careful, reckless, shy, funny, boring, difficult, easy, responsible, and nosy. Okay, we got the, the list right there. Do you have any questions about it? Any questions about the vocabulary? No, we're good? Okay, we're good. Now, I'm going to give you examples on how to use so. And, uh, for example, you can say I am, let me use boring. Boring, aburrido. I am boring. If, if I say I am boring, no problem. So, yo soy, yo soy aburrido. Yo soy aburrido. I am boring, yo soy aburrido. Podemos usar so before, 
before boring to make the feeling stronger. Okay, I am so boring. Soy tan aburrido. I am so boring. Oh, soy muy aburrido. It's pretty much the same. Okay, yes. Uh, another example can be you are, you are so excited about the movie. You are so excited about the movie. Estás tan emocionado por la película. Estás muy emocionado por la película. Yes. My boss was so angry with the reports. My boss was so angry with the report. Mi jefe estaba tan enojado con el reporte. O estaba muy enojado con el reporte. Another or more examples. The doctor. The doctor is so funny. The doctor is so funny. El doctor es muy divertido. Yes. All right. Very good. Let's see. I need some people. I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose some people to give me some examples with so. Only so. Let's see. Let me try with, with uh, Melanie. Yes, Tisha. Can you give me an example using so in a sentence? Um, Fernando is so. Mm -hmm. Respond Res responsible. Responsible. Yes. Okay, responsible. Yes. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yes, the example is good. Fernando is so responsible. Thank you, Melanie. Excellent. Raquel, Elizabeth. Mm, she is so interesting. Repeat it. She is so interesting. Interesting. Yes. Okay, she is so interesting. Yes, yes. The example is fine. Excellent. Jassy Andrea. I'm guessing she's not there. Brian, do you want to try? Uh, an example. Yes. Uh... Uh, whatever subject, right? I'm sorry? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever subject. Yes, yes. Um, for example, um, uh, she is so tired. Okay, she is so tired. Exactly. So tired. Okay, Brian, thank you for your example. Carlos Eliezer, can you give me one example? Um, just a chair. Uh, we are so uh, handsome and beautiful. We are? We are so handsome and beautiful. beautiful. Okay, we are so handsome and beautiful. Yes, the example is perfect. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to continue with such. We're going to continue with such. Thank you for your participation. Now, I have the same vocabulary, the same list of adjectives, the same. Okay, so here it goes. I told you yesterday and today that so and such are the same. The difference is in the grammar or in the structure of the words. Look, now we use noun. Sustantivo, woman, man, boy, doctor, student, teacher, etc. Yes. Subject, verb, am, is, are, was, and were, such a or such an, and the list of words, adjectives. Y así es como va la estructura, así como está acá. Sujeto, verbo, such, adjetivo, y sustantivo. Yes. For example, I, M, 
such a messy. I am, repito, I am such a messy teacher. I am such a messy teacher. That means, soy, soy un maestro muy desordenado. O soy un maestro bastante desordenado. That's what it is. Puedo decir, I can say, I am, I am so messy. Soy tan, soy tan desordenado o soy muy desordenado. Or you can say, I am a messy, such a messy, sorry. I am such messy teacher. Okay, and it's the same. Es lo mismo, es lo mismo. It's pretty much the same. Okay, more examples. Let me give you more examples. Julia is. Julia is such a, oh, such an angry. Julia is such an angry nurse. Nurse, enfermera. Repito, Julia is such an angry nurse. Okay, Julia es una enfermera bastante enojada, muy enojada, tan enojada. All right. Yes. En el seguro trabaja entonces. <laughs> no, I think everywhere. En todos lados hay así. <laughs> yes, believe me. Okay, let's continue. Let me give you more examples. We can say, uh, Jorge is. Jorge is such a shy man. ¿Qué significa shy? Jorge is such a shy man. Quiere decir Jorge es tímido. un hombre muy tímido. tímido. Exactly, exactly, yes. Callado, really? tímido. That's what it is. Jorge, are you shy? Yes, so shy. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't believe you. I am shy. Yo sí, mire, soy un poco tímido. Yes, people, tímido. It's a other liar. Okay. Se mentira, dice, mire. No, en serio, se lo, se lo juro. Soy, soy este, bastante sociable, o hablo mucho, pero en mis clases. Si está bien a la par mía, que conozco, no hablo. <ríe> a no ser que me hablen a mí. <ríe> pero en las clases sí ya era costumbre de que hablo más. It's, it's mental, <laughs> right? But but my I am shy. Si soy tímido. Yes. <laughs> no me va a creer. <laughs> nobody, nobody believes that. Nadie cree. Como un hombre. I don't All know. Right. Oh, by the way, people, ¿durmieron, durmieron bien, por cierto, durmieron bien todos. O con miedo. Estuvo crítico, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Good. Como tres, tres, tres réplicas o dos. Yes. Y como dos en el día, aparece en la mañana, hoy. O no sé. I don't know. Sí. Sí, claro. No, no hay que dormir desnudo. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. People, be careful, be careful. You have to be <laughs> such, you have to be such careful people. You have to be careful such people. careful people. Okay. So I was saying uh, more examples, right? Let's say Sandra is such a, let me see. Let me see. Okay, here. Sandra is Sleepy. such a fast driver. It's true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sandra is it's such true. a fast driver. Quiere decir, Sandra es una conductora muy rápida. Yes. All right. Now, do you have any questions, people? No, teacher. No? Okay. Fantastic. Now, before we continue, I would like to hear some people to give me examples. I'm going to choose these people. Don't worry. The first person I'm going to choose is Victoria. Victoria? Yes. Luna is uh, Luna is so a smart student. Okay, yes, that's a perfect example. That's such a perfect example. 
<laughs> See what I did there? Okay. Luna is such a smart student. 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 Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. Let me see. Let me try with Sarah. Sarah, hello. Hello. Okay. Can you give me an example with such? Hey, I am um, so she's smart. Okay, I am such a smart, smart, a smart, easy. No, no, or, no. It's not key, Mira. He is smart, smart, smart woman. Smart doctor, smart student, smart woman. teacher. Woman. Woman, okay. Yes. Here you go. I am such a smart woman. Thank you. Let me continue with Edith, Adelia. Do you have an example or can you give me one? Um, she, she is such um, demanding men. Okay, he is such a demanding man. Exactly, exactly. Wow, such a demanding man. <laughs> All right, Denise, do you want to try? Um, I am such a sleepy person. <laughs> I am such a sleepy person. I think everybody is sleepy right now. <laughs> I mean, it's when it's Wednesday, right? But it's okay. Thank you for the example. The example is perfect. Let me continue. Well, a volunteer? Un voluntario. I am using magic right now. Magic, magic. Volunteering. Volunteering. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, Carlos... He's such um noisy. Noisy or nosy? Noisy. Nada. It's it's a uh, noisy rigoso oh. and oh. nosy hilarious. Nosy entrometido. Es que no sé cómo se pronuncia el ticho. Está no, noisy con i y está nosy con, con, sin la i. Le he enviado al chat. Nosy. Ok, nosy, nosy. Significa nosy. entrometido. O como decimos, o como decimos nosotros, tipo, como decimos. Metido. Okay. No, we don't say that. Qué metido, solo. Okay. Que... <laughs> That's what we say. <laughs> no, te gusta el right. chicle, right? ¿Has escuchado eso? Te gusta el chicle, ¿verdad? No. <laughs> te gusta el chicle, dicen. Has escuchado. Yes. <laughs> All right. Vamos a ver. Let me, let me see. Let me try or let me test your understanding. And I want you guys to do this. Look. I have some examples here and they say, change the following sentences with so to sentences with such. Okay, so we got five examples with so and only one with such. That example with such, you're gonna put it with so. Okay, the example that you have here, Ashley is such a happy person, you're gonna put it with so. The other ones are with so, so good, so messy, so ready, uh, so fast, so amazing. You are going to rewrite, you're going to rewrite those sentences, but with such, not with so. Okay, people, let's begin. Let's begin. I'm going to give you two, two, two or three minutes. This is easy. Such an easy task.
I think the first one is going to give you some confusion. People, let me know when you finish. Are you ready, people? Are you ready now? I think I'm ready. Okay, you think you're ready? What about I you? I think so. Okay, you think so? All right. Okay, I think I think everybody's ready now. Guys, ready? All of you are ready? Okay, I think everybody's ready. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's begin. Number one, Edgar is so good at accounting. Anybody? Can you give me can you give me the sentence, the same sentence with such? I think is Edgar is such a good accounting. Okay, Edgar is, uh, is such a maybe a count. Si cambiamos la palabra account, contador. Edgar is such a good account. Okay, yes, pero estamos cambiando la oración prácticamente acá. Uh, this one, this one would, would be like this. Sería azul. Edgar 
is such good at accounting. Yes, like that. Así sería. Such good at accounting. Yes. Edgar es tan, es tan bueno. Es tan bueno en contaduría. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. Is Edgar is such good, such good at accounting. Yes. Such good at accounting. Yes. Now, number two, Mayra and Sandra were so messy. Yes. Oh, no. That's women. Typical. <laughs> what can be oh, the sentence? My, but... <laughs> it's a It's a, it's a, it's a fact. It is. It is a fact. Okay. So people, people, people. Tell me, tell me. Mayra and Sandra were such messy person of people. A woman, women were such messy, such women. Okay, women, such messy women. Ahora, the question is, why are we not? Why are we not using a such a? Well, that's because we have two people, and not only one. Remember the a or the article a or n. It's only one. It means one. Number one. In the so we got Mayra and Sandra, two people. They, they were such messy people. So such a is not net, la a the a the letter a is not uh, correct. Okay, it's not correct. Number number three. The employees are so ready. Tell me, people. The employees are so ready. The employees are such ready. Okay, the uh -huh, such ready. Falta, falta. There is one thing missing. Hello. Work. Okay, workers. Yes. Workers. <laughs> okay, there you go. The employees are such ready workers. Okay, okay. employees and workers are not relevant. <laughs> but it's okay. it's okay. So that's how it is. Joy and Ross are so amazing. Joy and Ross are so amazing. What about this one, people? Can you tell me the, the example with such? Joy and Ross are such amazing couple. Joy and Ross are, are such are such amazing. Yes, amazing. Amazing. People. People. You yeah, could say couple. Uh-huh. <laughs> couple. Sí, pues. <laughs> okay. Pop. También. Otra cosa, otra cosa también. Depende, depende de la palabra acá. Si es singular, como a couple, se podría. Sí, sí. Pero sería such. Eat, lunch. And. Such an amazing, porque no puse nada aquí. Such an amazing couple, porque es pare, pareja la palabra, no es, no es uh, parejas, right? Yes, so it is, it is correct, pero no, no, no son pareja. <laughs> yes, ahí aparecen en Friends. Ashley is such a happy person, eso es lo más fácil. Ashley is such a happy person. What is your example with so? Uh, 
Ashley is so happy. Ashley is so happy. Okay, next. Francisco was so fast. Francisco was so fast. What about this one? This is the last one. Tell me, tell me. Francisco was such a fast driver. There you go. Francisco was such a fast driver. Yes. Yes. Okay, muy bien. Yes. Remember, ese driver lo pueden cambiar. Francisco was such a fast man. Francisco was such a fast runner. Francisco was such a fast dancer, etc. Okay, yes. Do you have any questions, people? No questions? Okay, let's move on. We have another activity. The next activity is a writing activity. You are going to write or you are meant to write a paragraph. Look at this. Take a look at the following exam, exampling. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, rápido. My bad, my bad. There you go. Okay, it says there, take a look at the following example. Use it as a model to, for your own story. This is my story, okay? Or una parte de esa, okay? Uh, you can take this one as an example to create your own story. What I need you guys to do is, you're gonna use, you're gonna use so in the sentences, and you're gonna use such in the sentences as well. Look at the example. A couple of months ago, no, 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 I'm not going to read. I'm not going to read, vamos a ver. Elegimos a alguien. Diana, Lea. Okay, teacher. A couple of months ago, I had three jobs. It was so difficult to, to keep would write all the doors I go get so confused I go get so tired so long so long pattern I was not sleeping were not doing drinking and no water not eating in a hurry why as was under so much pressure, I was so pressure. I was so glad when I came from one of them. I was so a uh, waiting person. I wanted to run financing so badly, uh, but it didn't happen. Okay, but it didn't happen. Uh, let me see. Is there a volunteer that would like to read the paragraph again? One more time, only one more time. Okay. Anybody? Yeah, I can read this. Thank you. Brian, hello. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, yes. It's, it's a reading, right? Yes, yes, read, read. Okay, this is a couple of months ago. I had the three jobs. It's It was so difficult to keep up uh, with all the tasks. I will get so confused. I will get so tired, so low bat battery. I was not sleeping well, not drinking enough water, not eating, eating in a healing, healing, healing way. Healing way. way, okay. 
I, I was under so much pressure. I, I was so glad when I when I kicked from one of them. I, I was so uh, a greedy person. I wanted to to grow financially uh, so badly, but but it uh, didn't happen. Okay, but it didn't happen. Thank you very much. Hey, do you have any questions about the vocabulary, people? The correct pronunciation is healthy or healthy way. This one, healthy, healthy. Health. Healthy. Look at this. P. Healthy. 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 Exactly. Healthy. Healthy. healthy way. Yes, healthy way. Exactly. Okay. Thanks. More questions? No. Okay. Let me read again one last time. A couple of months ago, I had three jobs. It was so difficult to keep up with all the tasks. I would get so confused. I would get so tired, so low battery. I was not sleeping well, not drinking enough water, not eating in a healthy way. I was under so much pressure. I was so glad when I quit from one of them. I was such a greedy person. I wanted to grow financially so badly, but it didn't, it didn't happen. There you go. Okay, now, fantastic. Now, the activity consists of this. You are going to take this, this uh, paragraph as an example or as an idea of what I, got, I need you guys to do, okay? Yes. So the activity is this one. You're going to write your own story or your own paragraph about anything, about anything. The point is to use or to create a paragraph, but the point is to use so and such in the sentences, okay? You can talk about anything, about your last birthday, your last, uh, I don't know, a party or an event you attended. In that way, you can talk about your emotions, your feelings, okay? It can be about anything. Okay, let's begin. Iniciamos. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? Okay, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you some minutes. All right. So people, let's begin. Let's begin. Hold on. I'm gonna give you from eight to ten minutes. From eight to ten minutes.
If you guys have any questions, remember I'm here. Let me know, people. Let me know.
Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Jorge. Natalia finished. Thank you. What about the rest? Ready? Almost teacher. Almost okay. Guys, are you ready now? Okay, I think I think you guys are ready. Anna, Denise, Diana, Carlos. Raquel Edith, Ryan. Yes, teacher. Ready? Ready. Okay, we're gonna begin. We're gonna start sharing. All right. Who wants to begin? Who wants to begin? I. I'm. Okay. I'm going to start. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Go ahead. Denise, you're going to choose the next person, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, um, the last year I lost my dog. She passed away because she was so old. I was so sad because she was my first dog. But I love dogs so much, so I have two dogs now. They are such messy and noisy dogs. But I think it's because they are so so young. They are such happy dogs. I have such a good time, good time with them. I love them so much, but I will always remember my first dog. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah. Good one, good one. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. That was so sad. Such a sad story. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Denise. Denise, she's the next person. Um, um Anna Victoria. Okay, and I got you. Oh no. Okay. Um, three weeks ago, I have a field trip to Bahia de la Unión. The trip um, last last of two days. The purpose was to search banding beers, spe mm -hmm. specifically. American oyster, oyster capture or Aematopus paliatus. In the trip, I am so tired because I was riding many hours. 
and then talk about to take a water tour for search the beer. And the first day, so oh, I saw 28, 28 beers and none with band. And second day, I was such a happy person because I saw 32 beers and two beers with band. <laughs> si no me entendieron, les explico en español. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you for the story. One, one problem there. You didn't you didn't mention you didn't mention example with so and such. What happened? Okay. And uh tenemos acá, espérame aquí lo voy a mostrar. Okay. 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 Anna, choose. Thank you, Anna, for your participation. You can choose the next person. Choose the next person. Raquel Elizabeth. Okay. No finish, teacher. You haven't finished? No. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna give Raquel some time. Anna, choose another person. The último, Raquel. Don't worry. Um, Carlos Elias. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. My topic is my daily routine. And I, every morning I get up to sleeping. Later take a shower to lock me such a handsome boy. Bah. After I have to my breakfast, it is so delicious. And I go to my work. In the middle, middle of the day, I like to drink a soda so cold. And again, I start to, started to working. In the evening, I usually I drink a juice to relax me a little bit because I feel so tired and so exhausted. In the end, I watch I wait so excited to talk my English class. All right, all right, Carlos, fantastic! Thank you for the for the participation. Is this animal? All right, Carlos, can you please choose another person? Um, uh, Asalia, teacher. Okay, Asalia, yes. Yes, I yes. Okay. Um. Ten eight years ago, I worked as a sales room manager. Mm -hmm. I worked more than eight hours. I hardly at I didn't have time because it was very heavy and all the time was full with money. Many clients that some came just to see, and others bought up to three pairs of shoes. I was on my feet all day and had 11 people in my shirts, which, which was very difficult to control, but not impossible. Good and bad memories like our jokes. Okay. Asalia, thank you for your participation and your uh, story. Can you choose another person? Let me mention who are, uh, who haven't participated yet. Sandra, we got Diana, Jorge, 
We have Edith, Raquel, the last one, Ismael, and Brian. Yes. I don't have the, the, the history teacher. I am Brian. <laughs> Brian? But I don't have the, the history for now, teacher. You don't have it? No, but. Okay. Chose the other person right now. Okay. Sorry. Yes, it's okay. Será el último entonces. Asalia, another person. It's Raquel. Um, Raquel. Raquel, no, it's not ready yet. No. Um, George. Okay. George. Hello. Hello. Okay. Um... Okay, when I was 20, I had a job. My salary was so low, but I feel such a rich man because I could invite my girlfriend to eat some hamburgers. Mm -hmm. That job showed me all the new thing about my career. So I was so grateful with that. After that, I was able to work in other companies sub big. Okay. All right. Such a good story. Thank you, Jorge. Jorge, you have the power. Choose another person. I choose Sandra. Okay. <laughs> Sandra is not happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Jorge. You are two years are such a good ago. Man. <laughs> okay, two years ago, all we had to have a way for 80 kilograms. Was eating so bread at dinner for a long two months. My way it was to 60 kilograms. I have never had this way. I have problem with my box. I didn't know to sleep so good. I would stay so tired. So I start to do the exercise. I try to be so such a person healthy and no eating bread or flour. Okay. All right. Sandra, thank you for your story and about yeah. Good story. Thank you for sharing. Sandra, who is next? The next person nominate is Dennis. Who? Dennis. She she was the first one. <laughs> See, I told you, Sandra is sleeping. <laughs> Dennis? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dennis was number uh, one. Uh, okay. We have Diana, we have Edith. Dijo Edith or Dennis? <laughs> Edith. Okay, Edith. Edith, are you ready? Hi. Hi. No finished, teacher. You're not ready? No, you haven't finished? No. Okay, Ismael. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh, my last summer vacations. Some months ago, I went to the beach with some and such funny friends. The weather was so hot that day. We bought a so delicious fishes for our lunch, and we went to the ocean of the afternoon. It was it was such a good day. Okay, it was such a good day. All right. Thank you, Ismael. Choose another person, Ismael. Uh, two people didn't pass. <laughs> uh, let me see. We have uh, Raquel, we have Brian, we have Diana. Yes. Diana. Okay, Diana. Diana. Hello. Okay, okay again. 
Yes. No was they begging in apartment and Joe in please a lot of stand. And the man uh, also a lot of physical, mental, and psychological. Uh, exhaustion, all these making may think about the possibility of creating, creating my own company. Mm -hmm. I gen general, general team. Generate. Uh -huh. My own er earnings to obtain better income to have a better future for my family. Okay. All right. Thank you, Diana, for your participation. Let me see Edith, Raquel, and Brian. Are you guys ready? Hello. Raquel, are you ready? No, okay. Edith, hello. Yes. Okay, Raquel is ready. Thank you, Raquel. And when, when we go for the work with my family, what I like the most is to distract, distract myself and forget about everything because that relax me and make me feel better, better and I enjoy being with my family. Okay. All right, Raquel, thank you for sharing your story. Uh, let me see, Brian and Edith, are you guys ready? Uh, no, for now, teacher, because I'm working in, in, in the special case in my job. Okay, you're working out. Okay, I didn't know. That's okay, that's okay, don't worry. Edith? Hi. Last year at work, I was very stressed, mm -hmm. very stressed you know, with my my task. At it, it was very difficult, very difficult to very difficult. do to do very because there was only one person in the department. Mm -hmm. In November, they needed one more person, and so. I managed to finish the backlog. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, fantastic. Thank you, Edith, for sharing. Uh, let me see, Jansi, what about you? Is for listener, no, listener, listener. All right, okay, people, excellent. Thank you very much for your participation. And uh, yep, pretty much this. Now I'm going to, we're gonna do this. Tomorrow we have a very complex topic. So I'm going to give you a short introduction about it today. It is a little complex. That topic is a little complex. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna help you with, with, the, with the hardest part. Yes, uh, let me see. The topic that we have tomorrow is this one. Yes. Okay. What uh, what comes to your mind, or have you ever seen the word gerund, or have you ever heard about gerunds? Yes. Yes, you have. Okay. Who else? Alguien más que haya escuchado sobre gerundios? Okay, let me mention, Diana, hello. Yes, please. 
Okay, let me tell you what a gerund is. Gerund is a gerund is something very very easy, people. Look, it is a verb. Es un verbo. It is a verb with ing. Ing. Yes. It's a verb with ing. Es un verbo con ing. That whose function is as a noun or adjective. Su función es como un sustantivo o como un adjetivo, no como un verbo. Okay. So people. Every all verbs, all verbs can be gerunds. Todo verbo puede ser, todo verbo puede ser un gerundio. Todo verbo, okay. And the function, the function of gerunds is well, it has some functions. Let me show you. Uh, we use we use gerunds in the three different ways. Usamos los gerundios en tres formas diferentes, in three different forms, or three, three, three different ways. Number one, we use gerunds after specific. Look, we use gerunds after specific verbs. Usamos gerundios Después de verbos específicos. After specific verbs. Yes. I'm going to leave some space there. The second one is we use gerunds as subjects. We use gerunds as subjects. Usamos gerundios como sujetos. And number three is we use gerunds after adjectives, oh, after prepositions, after prepositions, después de preposiciones. Okay, now I want you guys to take a look at these two different examples. Let me show you. Pongamos el verbo, un verbo con ing, pongamos bailar. Uh, let's see, Denise. <laughs> Denise. Is dancing? Oh no! There you go. Look, we got dancing. Dancing is the verb with ing. Denise is dancing la bala. All right. Denise. Denise <laughs> loves dancing la bala. All right. We, get, we have two different sentences here. Si pueden ver, hay dos. There you go. We got dancing and dancing. Tenemos dancing and dancing. Dancing, dancing. All right. But there is a big grammar difference right there. All right. This is grammar, people. It's, it's grammatica. <laughs> it is grammar. All right. Geron, a geron is not a verb. Okay, I'm emphasizing on that. The gerund is not a verb. El gerundio no es un verbo. All right, no es un verbo. Right now, we got Denise is dancing. Dancing, acá sí es un verbo. Okay, Denise is dancing la bala. Quiere decir que Denise está bailando esa canción. Okay, bailando. Yes, yes. Dancing, all right. She is dancing. Y este es presente continuo, or present progressive, okay? Then we have Denise loves dancing la bala. This is simple present. Tenemos, le, a ella le encanta, o le gusta, o ama bailar. Dancing, bailar. She, Denise loves dancing la bala. A Denise le gusta bailar esa canción, okay? See the difference? Arriba es, Denise está bailando. Abajo es, a ella le gusta o a ella le encanta bailar. Dancing. Dancing. Y la canción. Okay. The song is la bala. All right. 
So what is the gerund and which one is the verb? Here, this is a verb. Aquí lo voy a colocar, permítanme, wait. Dancing right here is the verb. Es el verbo. Why not? No puedo escribir. Ese que está ahí es el verbo. Y este que está acá es el gerundio. Ok. ¿Y qué dice la regla número uno? It says we use gerunds after specific verbs. Love es uno de esos verbos. Amar o encantar es uno de esos verbos. Love. Después de love puede ir otro verbo con ing que se convierte en el gerundio. Yes. Ok. For example, I can uh, write another example. Let me show it to you or show you how. Yana loves seven reading. Loves watching. Loves going and uh, loves Working, no, I meant you know, working, no. Who loves working people? Do you love working? No. Okay, yes, eating, yes. what I Eating, that is going to church, watching TV and reading novels. Okay, look, Diana loves reading novels. Diana loves watching TV, Diana loves going to church, Diana loves eating tacos. What reading, watching, going and eating are gerunds. Son gerundios que van justamente después del verbo love. Okay? Yes. I'm going to give you the list of verbs tomorrow. Okay? Yes. I ha I do have the list right here, but uh, we will take time. Okay? I'm going to give you the list tomorrow. Okay. To mention a few, tenemos unos cuantos acá. Love, el más común. También está like. Y pongamos aquí el verbo hate, que es detestar o odiar. Después de ellos, pueden usar un gerundio. Plus gerunds. Okay, ahí está. Okay. Second rule, we use gerunds as subjects. Usamos gerundios como sujetos. Okay, people, ¿qué es un sujeto? What is a subject? The principal person in the sentence. Main. It's a talking about, okay, the name yeah. in the sentence. The main person, okay, the main person or the person that performs the action. Ok. También se pueden usar los gerundios como sujetos en una oración. Ok. For example, for example, working. Working. Look. Working overtime can be dangerous. Working overtime can be dangerous. What is the gerund there? ¿Cuál es el, el gerundio? Working. Okay, exactly. Working is the gerund, all right? Working is not a verb. How do you say working in Spanish right there in that example? Only working, trabajando. No. Trabajando es un verbo. Yes. Recuerden, el gerundio no va con ING. Si va con ING, acá escrito. Pero cuando lo queremos hablar, puedo decirlo en español, o oh, no, no es, no es con ING, es trabajar. Solo trabajar. Trabajar, tiempo extra, o sobre todo, ¿cómo sería? Overtime, ¿cómo sería en español, people? How do you say overtime in Spanish, people? <ríe> no sé cómo se dice en español. Horas extra. Ok, horas trabajar, extras. trabajar horas extra puede ser peligroso. Ok, trabajar 
¿sí? ¿Trabajando horas extras? No. Porque ¿Okay? trabajar horas extras okay, puede ser peligroso. How do you say, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo dirían ustedes? Escribir es mi pasión. How do you say that in English? Escribir es mi pasión. Writing is, Writing is my passion. Exactly. Writing is It's my passion. passion. Ok. Escribir, right? Escribir. No ponemos, no ponemos, no podemos poner write aquí. Porque write es escribir. Ok. Pero no se puede poner solo el verbo así, write. No se puede. Ok. So writing is my passion. Passion. Escribir es mi pasión. Yes. Ok. Ese es otro uso de los gerundios. Ok. Y el último acá. Don't worry, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to give you the full, the full explanation. To, today is just the introduction. Uh, people, what is a preposition? ¿Qué es una preposición? It's a link. Okay. Let me show you one example. I am interested. Dice ahí, estoy, estoy interesado. Es lo que dice ahí. I am interested in. In is the preposition. Esa in es la preposición. Ok. Estoy interesado en viajar a Estados Unidos. I am interested in people. Traveling. Yeah. Viajar. Traveling. Tra Traveling. To the U.S. I am interested in traveling to the U.S. Estoy interesado en viajar a los Estados Unidos. Y ustedes se preguntan, ¿por qué le ponemos ING a ese traveling? No tiene sentido. Bueno, así es la regla. <ríe> así es la regla. All right. Yes. Tienen que saber, tienen que saber, o más bien practicar mucho más para poder saber eh, cómo, qué iría, qué, después de cuatro posición iría, porque no va después de todas. Es de unas específicas, como for, about, uh, without, in, on. No son todas, ¿ok? No son todas las preposiciones. Son algunas. Ok, let me give you another example with the preposition. Vamos a poner aquí. I, no. She is excited about. Aquí dice, ella está emocionada en. Emocionada en, pongámosle, let's say, en, en ir a la fiesta. Tipo, ir a la fiesta. Studying English. Ok, cambiamos la Studying, studying English, dice. Studying. Studying English. Ok, yes, yes. She is excited about studying English. Yes. You may ask, ¿por qué le ponemos la ING a studies? No tiene sentido. Bueno, así es la regla. Eso que está ahí es un gerundio que se usa justo después de la preposición about. ¿Ok? Sí. Eh, si ustedes ven el about y luego hay un espacio y luego hay opciones de un verbo, ese verbo será un gerundio. ¿Ok? Siempre, siempre después de about usaremos un gerundio. Si usamos el verbo sería gerundio. ¿Ok? Yes. Don't worry, we're going to continue talking about this tomorrow. I'm going to give you more examples, bring more examples, and uh, we're going to see how we use each of them. Yes. Do you guys have any questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, perfect. People? I need, I need a person to stay today. Uh, Brian offered himself yesterday. I don't know if he's willing to stay again or today. Yeah, teacher, no problem. All Aunque right, Sandra perfect. me dijo que quería quedarse. Oh, okay, fantastic. No, es un broma, es un broma. Sí, yo ah, me voy a quedar. Look, uh, mire su mirada, mire su mirada. No, no, no. Así sí, no. yo creo que ahí me, ya me dijo todo el, todo el abecedario really? salvadoreño. <laughs> Easy, I kill him. <laughs> all right, all right. Run. Fantastic.
Okay, very good, very good. People, I don't know if you if you uh, saw a problem. Tenemos un problema. Comentarles. Aún no se me ha informado nada de ese problema, pero ya lo ya lo identifique hace tiempo. Y el problema es con la clase número tres. Si no me equivoco, tres. Esa clase, si ustedes van al video en YouTube, según ahí en YouTube, dura casi tres horas el video. Y es porque se ha, se ha cortado y se ha distorsionado todo feo, se ha hecho el video. Por parte se mira solamente. Entonces, probablemente me pidan que repita la clase y esa es la clase tres. Así que, I'm giving you a heads up. Ok. I'm giving you a heads up. No sé si Overtime, a... teach. Overtime. Ajá. <risa> No sé, si lleva, no sé si lleva ese, ese guión, pero me lo voy a buscar. No sé si lleva ese guión, heads up. ¿Saben qué es heads up? Heads up. Heads up. Sí, lleva, sí lleva el guión, lleva, uh... sí lleva el guión. Es un aviso, un aviso. I'm just giving you a heads up, ¿ok? Yes. Solo les doy ese aviso que probablemente we're going to have to, uh, tendremos que repetir esa clase el día martes. Yes. No, teacher, no. Teacher. Yes, I'm sorry. No sé por qué se, se arruinó el video. Porque el video se arruinó el video. Está arruinado. Pero no se, no se me ha informado nada todavía. Pero probablemente sí se me informe. No se les pasa nada. <ríe> so, people, it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Yo no sé, no sé pero en los ejercicios, en el número tres, en el, en el ejercicio número 14 o 13. Yo uh -huh. escribo el scramble y siempre me sale error. Es que no sé si dos, alguien lo ha hecho. O sea, hay dos oraciones que siempre dan error. Y es, ese creo que el, es un error de la plataforma. Son dos específicas. Creo que son con el, con el, el wood, where, wood, creo. No me acuerdo muy where, bien. Son los que le presentaba la how, vez pasada. How, how were you all? Algo así. No sé. Ah, how old were you? No, está how were you all? Sí, pero el orden es how, how old were you? Mm. Uh -huh. How were you old? How old? How old? How old? How old were you? How old were you? How old you? Ajá, como decimos, para decir qué edad tienes. Okay. Eh, how, how old are you? Ajá, uh -huh. how old how are, are you? How old are, are, are you? ¿Pasado de sí, R? Pero, pero ¿cuántos, uh, ¿cuántos años ten, tiene? Tenía, tenía. Tenía, ajá. Exactly, yes. Ok, muy bien. Ok, what, thank what, you. What you can do, people, always, if you work on a platform and you get a mistake there, you send a message to the, to the group with the screenshot. Maybe I will not help you, but your classmates are going to help you. Yes. If I don't have time, they will help you. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no le puedo ayudar, pero sus compañeros sí. Have faith. <laughs> have faith. <laughs> have some faith. Okay. Let me take attendance, people. And after that, we will be free to go. Ana Victoria Galán. Present. Thank you. Asalia Melanie Portillo. Present teacher. Brian David Ramirez, thank you. I am here. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Orrego. Carlos Eliezer Dimas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Denise Alejandra Zúñiga. Present. Thanks, Denise. Diana Yamilet Maravilla Navas. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith Adilia Hernández. Present. Ismael Ernesto Boyat Solís. Present teacher. Jorge Ernesto Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Elizabeth Lazo. Raquel Elizabeth de la Rosa. Present. Sandra Yvette Mendoza. Present teacher. Salazar, yes. <laughs> and Jancy Andrea Solortana and Sara, of course. Okay, she left. People, thank you very uh, much for being here today. See you tomorrow.
Yeah. Use Thursday already. Ya mañana es jueves. Wow. Sí, uh, sleeping is my passion. What? Okay. Sleeping, sleeping is your passion. It's the Sunday slogan. Temprano. Está temprano. Exactly, exactly, Brian. Está temprano. Exactly. You are right. Por mi trabajo, ahorita voy a cenar a las 12 de la medianoche. Para ahorrarse el desayuno de mañana. No, es que por mis horarios, eh, mi tiempo alimenticio está bien arruinado. Desayuno como a las 12 de la mediodía, almuerzo como a las 6 y, y ceno tipo 11, 12 de la noche. Oh, sorry. We, we are sorry, man. We're so sorry. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry. Cuando tenga que regresar a lo habitual, ahí sí me va a costar. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> good night, people. Take comer. care. Ah, sí, Bye. Bye. Sleep well. Bye. 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 If you are confused or with any topics, or if you have any complications about some, some topics, I'm here to help you. For now, no, teacher. Eh, de hecho, tenía, sí me salió la pregunta ya de último, pero no la quise hacer eh, ya de último para no retrasar a los compañeros. Era más que todo con los gerundios. Usted estaba mencionando que después de, un, de una preposición, si no mal recuerdo, uh -huh. va el gerundio. Pero eh, yo lo entiendo como un verbo en, en, en participio, es decir, el uso del ING, working, playing, etc. Entonces, eh, a manera de, de una manera más clara de entenderlo en el idioma, eh, entonces, ¿cuál sería la diferencia de a la aplicación de un gerundio versus la aplicación de una oración de manera normal en, en presente participio? No okay. sé si me explico bien. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Perfecto, perfecto. <ríe> ok. De hecho, acá están los ejemplos. Mira. Acá están. Lo que tenemos acá con Denise. Ok. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Para usar el presente progresivo, el perdón, el sí, sí, ese, ese, el uh, present participle. Uh -huh. Present participle es este que está acá. Exacto. El ING. Ese present participle se usa solamente en la estructura que se llama presente continuo o presente progresivo. ¿No? Como que yo estoy trabajando, okay, I am working, I am reading. Okay, ahí se usa ese presente participio. Okay, Prácticamente es... cambia todo, cambia una oración simple de presente participio, ¿verdad? Eh, pongámosle que esta oración es una base, un ejemplo base de presente participio. Entonces, mm -hmm. cambia totalmente esa estructura con el hecho de agregarle una preposición antes. Básicamente sí, básicamente sí, así. Ok, porque si en algún momento, por ejemplo, con la parte de abajo, con, la, con su tercer ejemplo, donde dice we use gerunds, gerunds after prepositions, eh, uh -huh. por ejemplo, donde usted coloca el I am interested in traveling to the US, uh -huh. si, si fuese una oración simple de presente participio, entonces eh, sería I am traveling to US. Uh -huh. yes. Entonces, eh, eh, po, hasta cierto punto, por temas de, de reglas, ¿por qué estaría mal decir I am interested in travel to the US? Ok, buena pregunta, buena pregunta. Todo se basa en la regla número uno, la regla número uno, la que está acá. La regla en inglés, en inglés regla general dice que si colocamos dos verbos juntos, bueno, que no se puede colocar dos verbos juntos que sean de su misma forma, presente en presente. De su misma estructura, ok. Ah, estructura, básicamente. Tenemos acá que es, ponemos like, que es gustar. Gustar, uh -huh. ok, o agradar. Si yo digo, uh, me agrada, me agrada, vamos a ver, ¿qué, ¿qué verbo podemos usar acá? Me agrada escuchar música romántica. Me agrada uh -huh. escuchar. Pongamos eso en español acá, espera, vamos a poner. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Aquí. Ah, 
Esposita romántica. Very romantic. Ok. Si usted identifica acá, los verbos son agradar y escuchar. Son los dos verbos. En español no sucede ninguna alteración. Me refiero a que el verbo, lo, ambos están en presente y se ven como que fueran, no tienen, no tienen ninguna alteración. En inglés sí. se altera uno de ellos. Uno de ellos tiene que alterarse. No se puede poner dos verbos juntos de su misma, misma, misma forma. O o sea, me refiero... Es como una regla increba, increvantable por parte del inglés. Porque exactamente, literalmente, exactamente. literalmente yo puedo decir, I like, I like listen, eh, listen to music, eh, to romantic music. Entonces, no, como lo estoy diciendo, está mal. Está muy bueno. Listen to romantic music. Si usted dice eso, suena bien solamente en español. En inglés, eso que está ahí no es posible. Podría ser, podría ser que usted cambiara o... Oh, el verbo así, digámoslo. Es lo mismo, es lo mismo. Hay dos verbos juntos y tiene que haber una separación en esos verbos, ya sea con el ING, que sería listening, para poder identificar que hay dos verbos diferentes y que uno es el verbo y que el otro no es verbo, sino que es gerundio. Porque solo puede haber un verbo en la oración. Y ese verbo, el verbo principal es like. Entonces, el verbo secundario, que es listening, se convierte en un gerundio y no en un verbo, porque no es una acción. La acción acá o el verbo acá es like. Entonces, el siguiente ahora verbo... Ahora bien, el, el perdón que verbo, le interrumpe. Ah, 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 ahora bien, eh, uh -huh. exactamente le estoy preguntando porque mi némesis del inglés es exactamente est estas confusiones. Uh -huh. De hecho, eh, eh, de... Desarrollé, bueno, usted ya se dio cuenta que desarrollé bastante de lo, de, lo, de, lo, de, lo, lo del speak, pero puedo ir bien en todo, pero aquí es donde siempre tengo mi talón de Aquiles. Entonces, sí. una pregunta quizás un poco ignorante. En el sí. I like listening to, me, to romantic music, eh, mi mente así, de una manera para solventar todo, ¿verdad? Pensando en español, eh, pudiese ser I like to listen de, de romantic music, también estaría mal. Ok, pongámoslo. I, I like to... to listen de romantic music. De romantic music. Exactly. Eso también está mal. No, no está malo. No está malo. Que ahí... Si usted dice de romantic music, suena un poquito, un poquito raro decir de romantic music. Pero si, uh -huh. si se dice de romantic music, quiere decir que ya ha estado con un compañero o un amigo hablando con un amigo de una, de una música en específico. Uh -huh. Y usted dice, hey, I like, I like to listen to the romantic music, the romantic music, de la que ya hablaron o de la que escucharon antes, los, los, ambos juntos o tres juntos, no sé cómo sea. Pero se puede, sí, se puede ese, usar. Sería una redundancia, por decirlo así. El que, de, de, to listen to the list, to the... Ajá, to the eh, exacto, ajá. No, 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 está bien, está bien. Si usted dice, I like listening to romantic music, quiere decir que la música romántica en general, toda, toda. Si usted dice, to the romantic music, se refiere a un, una música específica de la que usted ya ha hablado con alguien y están como recordando, diciendo que le gusta esa rom música romántica. Ajá. Ahora, vamos a otro punto, el de, el de, I like to listen. Acá está la otra cuestión. No sé si está aquí en el libro este, no recuerdo muy bien, pero está el, el gerundio y está el infinitivo. El infinitivo es la preposición to, que está ahí de, antes de listen, y después sigue el infinitivo, que es el verbo en su forma base. Básicamente lo que está aquí, ambas están correctas. Usted puede decir I like listening or I like to listen y es lo mismo. Es lo mismo. Okay. Ah, eh, Ahora, prácticamente el tú es como un separador de verbos, por decirlo así. Y como puede, puede haber ahí, por eso que aplicamos el, el gerundio. Tiene que haber una separación en ambos verbos para notar la diferencia. Me refiero en estructura. Si usted pone like, tiene que poner ya sea listening or to listen. Uno de los dos. Si usted pone solamente I like listen, eso es incorrecto. I like listen, eso es incorrecto. Usted puede poner I like to listen 
or I like listening. Otro verbo podría ser I like to go. Me gusta ir. I like to go or I like going. Ok. Sí, así sería. Pero aquí está. Eso es lo más complejo todavía. Es que eso solo aplica para verbos específicos. Me refiero a qué? A esto. Los gerundios siguen después de verbos específicos. Al igual que los infinitivos. Pero hay un listado específico, no sé de cuántos, quizás unos, pongamos 10 por lo menos aquí. 10, de 10 verbos que puede ir ya sea con un gerundio o con un infinitivo. Y like es uno de esos verbos. Usted puede usar con un infinitivo o con un gerundio. Con ambos. Con ambos. Y sin ningún, ningún inconveniente. Así es. Ok, ver, sí. Vale. Esa es mi pequeña duda que yo tenía. Y no la quería hacer precisamente para no extender tanto a los compañeros. Pero, ajá, es que creo que también el error en donde muchos caemos es pensar mucho en, en el español. Sí, Entonces, sí. Eh, es. pero a veces cuesta quitarse eso. Porque a mm. veces por no tener un, un vocabulary tan extenso, porque yo me considero alguien que no tiene un vocabulary tan extenso. Sin embargo, usted ponga a leer un texto largo, yo se lo voy a decir bien. Pero, sí. o, si en un, o si yo estoy conversando con alguien... Y yo no lo voy a entender tanto al 100%, pero si le logro captar una, un par de palabras, voy a entender de, más o menos de lo que estoy hablando. Entonces, precisamente por eso es que yo tenía la duda, porque cuesta bastante quitarse eso, de dejar de pensar en español. Porque a veces uno se queda, ah, por ejemplo, eh, I'm interested eh, in traveling to the U.S. Inmediatamente su mente usa el traductor de mental. Ajá. Está interesado en, via en estar viajando en Estados Unidos, y en vez de quedarse así, uno ya sé que estar viajando, y la lógica del español dice, pero está mal, bueno, pero lo voy a decir así, y ahí uno ya se fue en, en sí, chuco, sí. como dicen, ¿verdad? entonces precisamente ese es como que el verdadero problema, Mu muchos consejos me dan de, la única opción creo que sería tirarse eh, como al aguapato para llegar a aprender como que un poco a la fuerza. Sí, sí. Pero la, la, las reglas son fáciles, solo son, solo son tres reglas. El problema es, es saber qué verbo, qué verbo usar con un gerundio y qué verbo usar con un infinitivo. Déjeme decirle esto, sí. cuando yo aprendí inglés, me costó mucho entender o más bien diferenciar qué verbo, perdón por el tucho que está a la par mía. Tranqui, <ríe> tranqui. Yes. Me costó mucho comprender con qué verbo usar un gerundio y con qué verbo usar un infinitivo y con qué verbos usar ambos. Es, una, una, es, es bien complejo el tema. Es, es fácil entenderlo, solo que es bastante extenso por los verbos que hay que aprendernos y cuál es cuál, con cuál va este y con cuál va otro. Por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo, mire, el verbo want. Ese verbo want, ya sabemos que va con el tú siempre. Con el tú. Sí, y después sí, sigue sí. un verbo como I want to, quiero aprender. I want to learn. Y ese to learn es el infinitivo que le comentaba anteriormente. El verbo es want, que es querer o desear. Ese es el verbo. Lo que está acá no es un verbo, sino que es un gerundio. Y se usa esto que está acá. Eso no es nada. Ese, ese tú no es nada en español. Solo es la regla para separar los verbos. Para separar los verbos. Al igual que la ING que está abajo con listening, no es, esa ING no es nada. No es nada. Solo es la regla para poder separar la, la, los verbos. Sí, así sería. Ya sé, este, okay. este, este de, 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 de sujetos es mucho más sencillo. El que sí es complicado de entender o de saber es este tres, porque hay un montón de preposiciones. Okay, y son bastantes, ahí las estaba leyendo. Son bastantes, eh, sí. Porque a, a, veces de, a veces pues tiende a olvidarse, o sea, eh, aprenderse las reglas que usted acaba de mencionar, las tres, para el uso de gerundios o infinitivos, es como tratar de, y, u, y, y saber qué verbos se pueden combinar entre sí y qué verbos no. Es como llegarse a aprender los verbos irregulares en sus uh -huh. tiempos, en sus tiempos pasados, ¿verdad? En tus o sea, tiempos. Ajá, ajá, exacto. O sea, es como que tratar de, como usted dice, no es, no, no hay un atajo. L literal, hay que aprendérselos. Uh -huh. Punto. Practicar, y hay... practicar, practicar, sí, eso sí. Practicar, se, aprende, se la aprende uno, se la memoriza. Y es cierto, 
eso sí. Pero tarde o temprano sí, lo voy a terminar de llegar a entender. Pero de igual manera, yo le agradezco a por el mañana tiempo vamos extra. a seguir, todo, mañana vamos a seguir con este mismo tema, es tema de mañana. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ajá, es Ahí voy a hacer primero Dios. introducción solamente para, para más o menos dar una idea de cómo va a ser mañana la, lo demás, la clase. Perfecto. Eso sería todo entonces, teacher. No sé si Ok, hay algo está más. bien, perfecto, perfecto. Gracias por quedarse, Ryan. Ni un problema, le agradezco mucho más a usted. Eh, see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Brian. See you tomorrow. Bye.